हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर टू ऑफ एच सी वर्मा सो इट सेज एड वेक्टर्स ए बी सी ईच हैविंग अ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ हंड्रेड यूनिट एंड इंक्लाइन टू द एक्स एक्सिस एट एंगल्स फोर्टी फाइव वन थर्टी फाइव एंड थ्री फिफ्टीन डिग्री सो फॉर दिस वी नीड टू फाइंड द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट एज वेल एज वाई कॉम्पोनेंट सो फॉर फाइंडिंग एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट वी नीड टू ऑलवेज टेक केयर टेक cos angle with respect to x component when we talk about y component we need to take sin angles with respect to it so let's find x component of a first so x component of a vector will be 100 that is the magnitude of it and cos 45 degree so cos 45 degree is under root 2 1 over under root 2 so we get 100 over under root 2 units now we need to find x component of a sorry b with respect to b so 100 cos 135 degree and we know the value for cos 135 is into minus 1 over under root 2 so we get 100 minus 100 under root 2 unit similarly x component of c now with respect to c we have 315 degree so whenever we have 315 degree we get 1 over under root 2 so it is 100 over under root 2 unit now we need to find y component similarly for all the cases but remember that we need to take sin angle with respect to it so let's find y component of a b and c so y component y component of a is 100 into sin 45 and sin 45 is again 1 over under root 2 so 100 over under root 2 unit now y component of b is 100 sin 135 degree it is again 1 over under root 2 so 100 over 2 under root 2 unit now y component of c equals 100 sin 315 degree so sin 315 degree is minus 1 over under root 2 now we need to find the resultant of x component and y component so the resultant of x component will be 100 under root 2 minus 100 under root 2 then we have plus 100 under root 2 so 100 under root 2 100 under root 2 can cancel the resultant of x is 100 under root 2 unit now similarly for y component as we can see one is positive and uh, and another is negative and uh, one is positive so again we get 100 100 under root 2 unit as y component so we have resultant of y we have resultant of x so the total resultant of x and y component will be under under root 100 under root 2 whole square plus 100 under root 2 whole square so it will give us 100 sorry not 100 10000 over 2 10000 over 2 and under root so 5000 plus 5000 makes 10000 and under root of 10000 is again 100 so the resultant of x and y component is 100 and now if we need to find the angle between them so angle between them will be tan d equals y component over x component so this is the formula for it now y component and x component are both same 100 over 2 and 100 over 2 so they gets cancelled out and we get 1 and tan inverse of 1 will be 45 
so the resultant is 100 unit and 45 degree with x axis so this is the answer for question number 3